Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Battletech, the Kerensky Redux. I'm your host, Colors Fade, and it's episode 24. On the reputation side of things, that did us good in that we're at 56 for the pirates. It just keeps climbing, which is awesome. Um, we're going to have a little harder time. Feeling this tag team. So this is cool. Um, we're going to go down in pirate a little bit and then we'll go back up when we do this one. Pirate and pirate units operating openly on the planet. We need to hunt them down and turn them to scrap, but even if we do, blah, 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 our own forces. So this is a tag team. It's a little safer um, for us. And 512 versus 600,003 salvage. I'm going to do this under the assumption that maybe we'll get one whole mech that we can piece together and some cash. So I'm still not in full full mode yet. Wow, this is, that hurt. That hurt us big time. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Here's the problem now. Um, do any of these people have the ability to get tactics up? Oh, boy. Hellbore, Tailgate. Hellbore, Tailgate, Scarecrow. I need somebody with call shot mastery. Hmm. This is gonna suck. No more headshots for a while. We don't have anybody who can do it. Oh, right there. Scarecrow's gonna do it. He's the only person who can. In Tailgate, who's not close enough. Okay. He's got Call Shot Mastery. He's not gonna be as good with it, but. Scarecrow, where are you, buddy? Yeah, you're here. Everybody else is going to run this stuff. Um, the Ultra Auto Cannon one is the one that will get more likely to get hot. Although, yeah. And I need someone with sensor lock, who's a good pilot, who can take called shots as well. You don't have mastery, but you'll have to do. This is, this is as good as it gets. Thankfully, we came to the system. We knew we were only going to do three missions. The other ones are government missions that are going to hurt our Capellan faction. So this will raise the floor on our Capellan a little bit. We're still in the minus, but this will help. Dang. Dang it. That last mission, that was just a mistake. I should have done what I normally done. What I normally do with that mission. Here... We will play it smart and safe. We will let the other team take most of the punishment. And we will stay in cover. And how dumb is Darius saying, I prefer to operate solo, but if they want us to play babysitter, I suppose that's what we'll do. Darius, when other mechs are on our side, they're getting shot at. And not us. Alright. The first city biome. And here's Agamemnon. Clear the enemies, regroup for extraction. So here he comes. He's got a... Oh, alright. He's got a catapult. He's got a Vulcan. A grasshopper. Very nice. And an assassin. Okay. There's some cover over here, and we can make our own cover. This is great. So. Which mech is that? Thunderbolt? Okay. Moving to position. That should have something. It's a little far. I don't like to have the Marauder out in front that much, but. Got some light mechs coming at us. There will be ads coming. I just I just don't know where they're gonna drop, so that's always the big deal. Where do the reinforcements drop at? Otherwise, this wouldn't be a joint task force. <coughs> Their Vulcan goes up on top of a building. Always a dumb move. And there's a Griffin. Okay. 
Makes one shot, causes two of my guys to lose evasion. Okay. Who is that? Who's that shooting at us? They did say there were two groups, so maybe there aren't going to be one and then reinforcements that came from way back there. Um, let's reserve and see what else is going to happen. Our, their catapult's going to move up here and shoot something. See, that's a good. He's going to strip some evasion from that guy. That's great. Okay. Our Thunderbolt is going to come over here. Right, Commander. And what do you got? You can shoot at him, and you can strip some evasion, or you can strip some evasion from him. I'd rather kill this thing sooner, so I'm going to center lock it. Remembering that my Thunderbolt is the one that has a limited amount of ammo. What's up, boss? My Orion is going to move over here. On my way. He's got his Alter Auto Cannon. It's not a good... Not a good shot for him. So all I'm going to do is shoot this. Let me try to strip his evasion. Receiving. You're going to split like this. Strip his. There we go. Now we're getting green. There we go. The Marauder can shoot that Jenner without having to worry about its head. I don't care about headshotting it. I don't have any resolve to do it anyways, but I don't care about headshotting it. They got a spider. I just care about killing it. So. Which it didn't do because we shot the building. So shooting at my Marauder again. What? Probably the pirate rockets. Okay, so that is. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm dying over here. I'm dying. Everybody's shooting at the Marauder. Everybody, and he gets a head hit. I have nobody else that can possibly pilot this thing. And take full advantage of it now. It's just gonna be it's just gonna be any other mech shooting a bunch of auto cannons. That's just so disappointing. That next that last pirate mission in the system is gonna be hard then without any good pilots. It's gonna be really hard. Really hard. Dang. First turn I should have just reserved and let these guys move in first. That's what I should have done. Heat critical. <laughs> Goodness. Well. They're all going after the Jenner. Yeah, yeah, get it go. Hold on, I'm not. I'm gonna let this thing shoot. Shoot something. There you go. That's okay. Shoot at the Phoenix Hawk. Now it loses all stability. That's nice. Position confirmed. Hmm. What do we got here? Jenner. This thing. Javelin. Vulcan. A little tiny locust. How hard is he? Bury him. Taking a shot. I'll take that. I'll take the luck. The luck works. Luck works. Get over here and cover. It'd be like one turn away from doing that. This would give him a good chance to shoot. Maybe kill that. Nope. What about that? 40, 30, 30. What about this guy? 45. 
Okay. Just shoot this then. about this thing you want to shoot this thing it's still got a bunch of evasion it's just kind of crazy all right how can I get you out of there how can I get the out of here and not shot at so much oh my gosh it really does suck doesn't he oh my gosh I just have no good shots anywhere Oh, that's a bad shot, Tex. Well, shoot him with everything. You got plenty of bullets. You got plenty of bullets. It's not like we're going to run out. I don't think we'll run out during this mission. Not on him. Oh, look at that. He's being crafty. That's the other thing the computer does way more than I get is stray shots that peel evasion. It's just kind of amazing. Reporting minimal damage. They're Vulcan. The Vulcans are always running out there in front and then Oh. He meleeed him. I'd like to be able to do that. That'd be cool. <laughs> But instead, I got three huge mechs standing around, one tiny mech punching him in the face, and nothing, nothing doing. Your flamethrower can't reach that far. That's a joke. Another head hit for the other team. Oh, really? It's like I'm gonna shoot this Griffin. Oh, he took his. Oh, and another head hit. This time, in our favor. Lots of people shooting at each other. Ooh, you got something that's got some punch there. What is that? Oh, they have an archer. Okay. Receiving you. They have an archer. Oh, I'm really good to hit this locust, aren't I? Really good to hit this locust and the archer. Here's what I'm going to do. We shoot the locust. And we peel some evasion from the archer. That was nice. The griffin just went up top. Didn't he? Oh no, that's our guy. He's helping shoot at him, and it just went unsteady, which is great. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. Let's see. Right there. Okay. Aim at this thing, but if you hit that locust and kill it, that won't disappoint me too much either. We did hit him in the head. We just didn't hit him enough in the head. Ready for orders. No need to tell me twice. What do you got? Little guy with the bombs away there. And you got ultra auto cannons on this javelin. That'd be great. But you can only choose one, so pick your poison here, buddy. Yeah, I do that. Taking him out is a good plan. Every mech down is is a good plan. It's a good choice. Shooting the mech and killing it is a good choice. Do you have Refire plus four. So if you can get away with not refiring this turn, it'd be great. One less target. We are seeing another dropship inbound in this location. Pointed at your behinds, basically. Well. Get 
damage is minor, Commander. What do we got here? Stop shooting at that griffin, aren't you? <laughs> the grasshopper. Hey, they killed something. The other guys killed something. It's a Christmas uh, miracle. Oh, we got to be able to see that other one to shoot it. Hmm. I gotta shoot through a building to do it, but I'll do it. Plow him in the head there. I love it when she does that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You know what I have for you? It's called an Ultra Auto Cannon 2. Ultra Auto Cannon 10, actually. It's this thing, it's this guy. He's got, yeah, really good odds to shoot you really hard. What do you think he has left? Not much. Order. Okay, get ready for the reinforcements, folks. Target neutralized. What are they sending us? Attention, Capellamance. You screwed with the wrong people and they brought a crab and an assassin and a locust to a fist fight. How much you want to bet he doesn't even ask for help? I don't care if he asks for help or not. I'm only here to get salvage and keep my own mechs protected. Which Scarecrow got hit in the head, so... So this is what we're going to do. These guys are where? They're coming from this direction. They're going to come right down in here. I'm just going to sit. On the move. On it. Hello. Come get me. Bring it. Bring it, you dummies. Hey, look. It's some guy on top of a building. Oh, and some sneaky little guy coming around the corner here. Hmm. Okay. Well, a sneaky little guy. What are you going to do now? So I, will I will try to hide by the corner of this building. The grasshopper will take care of you. Maybe not, but oh, he did. He's just about ready to kill that thing. Oh, and there goes the Vulcan. About ready to die. The Griffin. Fifty. That's the crab. Yeah, he's about ready to take that Vulcan completely out, isn't he? The crab and his large lasers, which feel more like 1.5 times damage. Something about the crab shooting those lasers just seems like it, it's harder. Hits harder. What do we got? And there's their assassin. They don't... The AI doesn't use their Vulcans very well. Okay. I got a plan here. And it begins with this. Let's see here. How much is this one? 80 and 80. I got a better idea. Let's do this. Commander. You right here in the front. You've got a splitter. And you can hit that thing. And this is going to do 80 damage. So target that, and target that. Ready? Knock that building down. Do all that leg damage to him. Try to kill that thing, that's nice. 
some heavy damage. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, help finish off that locust. That would be great. Thank you. Okay. That, that building took a little damage. So, you also have the ability to split. How much damage? Yep, you can kill it. So I'll tell you what. You do that building and then shoot that at him. Oh, it's a bad look for that ultra auto cannon, isn't it? Okay. Why don't you just save it then? Bye bye. How's that massive leg damage feel? Does that not feel good? Waiting on you, Commander. Griffin. Oh, there's some head hits there. Scored a critical hit. Hmm. What can I do for you? Sensor lock disposal for next turn. Give their little mix a chance to shoot at some things. Grasshoppers. I will shoot at them. The crab. He's gonna take him out, isn't it? Oh, he's got two large lasers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're under heavy fire. One mech must survive, that's all. Only one of them needs to survive. Oh, they knocked him down. I'm still trying to headshot him, you know, just so you're aware. Are you joking me? Commander, I'm wounded. I'm just beside myself. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll let you guys shoot the next person. Okay, I'm gonna shoot him. He's going to get up good. I'm going to get a chance to make an easier headshot him instead of trying to go through his crotch. Is he going to move? Oh, he's going to put himself back on a building again. I think if I drop him on the ground again, he may... Uh, <laughs> he might be done. Okay. What's up, boss? How much for this? 60? Great. Tell you what, you shoot that and you shoot that. Both legs destroyed. Both legs destroyed from fall damage. <laughs> There's two pieces of a griffin. <laughs> What's up, boss? Yeah, baby. This Orion. I want to make it easier to shoot this guy. So what I'm going to do is split that and that. Oh yeah, that hurts. Bye. Oh, look at you. Don't you look cute. Plunk. Oh, I did hit him in the head. It's just not done. Do I have enough resolve for another one? I do. The question is, if I use it on him, what's it get me? 5% because you don't have it. Okay, never mind. Don't use that. Just attack this punk. Now all of our friends are going to be like, let's shoot those guys. Standing on buildings is such a bad idea. How much has he got left in his center torso? His center torso is 23. Crab. Can we headshot the crab? Ready for orders. I think so. He's pretty wounded already. What's his head? His head is 11 and his center torso is 36. You gotta get lucky here. Oh, that's it. He's done. That's a kill. Yeah, baby. 
Oh, here comes the catapult. Finish the job. That was kind of gorgeous. <laughs> he goes hot to do that. Oh. Well, that was a little better mission than the last one. Still, two more head wounds. That's a total of six head wounds in two missions. You can see why I want a cockpit mod so bad. Actually, I want two of them. I usually have two frontline fighters. Like, if I had cockpit mods, I'd be putting them in the Orions. Now, that wouldn't save my Marauder from getting hit in the head, but because the Marauder, I usually put Resolve ones on. But still, it saved me from some. And we get the full Archer, which is great. So, got a bunch more parts there. Got a griffin that's going to complete and an assassin that's going to complete. We're going to walk away with at least three mechs from this. And that's where I like every mission to be from kind of this point on is the more mechs I can collect every single mission, the better off it is. Thank goodness we only have one more mission here because we're running out of pilots. Griffin, assassin. None of my people are, are gaining enough experience there, Darius, for me to get what I really need, which is called shot master. Because now, how many wounded do we have? One, two, three wounded, four wounded, five wounded. Uh, and he's not enough there. All I care about right now is called shot mastery. Do we have anybody who can run it? Nope. So the Marauder now is just a regular machine. Um, it's almost not worth taking. Wow. It's amazing. All right. Contracts. Well, we know one thing. The last mission in the system is going to be hard. Our reputation is set up such that we're at 50 for the pirates, which is great. And the missions here for the government are all against Capellan, I think. Or pirates. Yeah, so we don't want to do them. So, it's an assassination, and that's going to be hard. Um, 521 versus half and 400,003. Well, we're at the point now where we just need to take Mick Salvage. But we're also at this point. <laughs> where we, oh, my gosh. Okay. This guy has got gunnery and tactics 70. doesn't have call shot mastery, but... He has high spirits. So taking headshots with the Marauder will at least cost us less. <laughs> in terms of uh, that. The Thunderbolt, Hellbore, you're coming in here. You got a 9 of gunnery. You can pilot that thing. The next best pilot that could shoot something is Flatline with a 7. So I'm going to want to switch these two. So that the Ultra Auto Cannon with Breaching Shot off of Fido. This is going to be hard. That's all there is to it. We know it's going to be difficult. We want to make sure that we recognize the map as quickly as possible and make the best strategic choices to keep ourselves out of trouble. Go through it. Kill everything. Don't necessarily worry about headshotting anything because we just don't have anyone with called shot mastery. So our headshots, even in the Marauder, are probably going to be around the 15 to 18 percent range when we have someone who has a called shot bonus um, <clears throat> the other thing is it's going to become incredibly difficult for us to go through the next couple of systems we may have to travel some after this to get everybody back that may be the big thing okay so yep Oh, I should have taken a little bit of time to look at it. The good news is, well, no. It's not necessarily good news. It's an assassination mission, and we know they like to throw hidden reinforcements at us. Now, sometimes the reinforcements show up already on here, and there's three yellow dots, three orange dots, but not always. This one is kind of tough, because these guys are up here. They're going to crawl up here. It creates tight quarters to shoot at. The main mech is going to come from over here and come over this hillside and come down. But you can get reinforcements from over here, which can kind of really stink. So, we may get those hidden reinforcements. If we don't, this should be okay. We're going to have plenty of cover, but that, the other problem is the enemy is also going to have a lot of cover as well. So, it makes it a little 
difficult for us. Okay, so there's the first one. One of the last times I did this mission... Which is my foot pumping something there. One of the last times I did this mission when I was doing my Kerensky run, I got here and this mech over here on the left said 100 tons, so I peeked over over it with, with one of my mechs and it was a king crab. And it was like, oh please, oh please, oh please, headshot it. Um, fortunately, we were able to, so that was pretty cool. Ready for order. Here's what I want to do. We know they're going to... I don't want to go up there and create this peekaboo situation. I want them to come to us. So, we're going to set up that way. Moving out. And in fact, yeah. um, we got a couple of people who can sensor lock. Got a lock. It's a Hunchback 4G. There's the first problem right there. Location confirmed. So that's the guy we have to kill. Roger. We can't let his AC-20 headshot us. That's not good, because the they've already been really lucky at this system hitting us in the head six times on two missions. It's not good. That's a griffin. You can see him jumping. Okay. Who do you want to hit there? 25 ton man. We just gotta wait for this guy to come over the hill. That's all we can do. We can back up a little bit. <clears throat> Make it harder for him to hit us when he does come over. Standing Meanwhile, trying to kill this thing. Heard him. Oh, and he's going to show his face. And here he comes. He's visible. He's visible right there. Order. There we go. That's what we want. Heading out. Okay. Hey, cat, what are you doing? <laughs> My cat. Split that. Let him eat the ultra auto cannon. Same thing with this guy. Let him eat your auto cannon. He doesn't have breaching shot. So just give him everything. I'm your spaniel. You're right there. Okay, what are you gonna be called? Shot, precise strike, 95% at 12. It ain't great. I await your command. I'm gonna move him like this because I want him to take this here. thing out. Almost. This just in. <clears throat> Almost. Griffon. It's that one, that one, Griffin, and this thing over here that we don't know quite what it is yet. It's a 55 ton mech and it's a Wolverine. And as long as he switches places with the Orions periodically, we'll be okay. Waiting for orders. Orders? Yep. Shoot this thing in the head again. Hit it again. Hmm, you've got breaching shot, so here's what I want you to do. Doink, doink. You're going to have to fire this thing twice. I know you don't like to. Got it. Oh, it's almost off. There we go. <clears throat> Hope we can salvage that. 30? Yes, Commander. On 
Kill it. Take its thing right off. Right there. There's your AC-20. How do you like that? Alright, you can be hit a little bit. Oh, this is a good split. Improvement for each of you. Fire. Heck yeah. Alright, let's kill these two guys. Just to shoot at me. Light damage. Holding firm. Oh, somebody's got a lot of hell on this. Twenty of them? Hmm. Okay. In that case. Standing by. I'm ready. I'm gonna let you rest for a second, because there's no sense doing much with you. He's got damage reduction. So sensor lock this fool. Sensors locked on! Now, everybody involved here, back up. <clears throat> Save your ultra auto cannon. Cool down. Shoot him with everything you got, buddy. And steady, and you. There you go. Save yours, too, then you have a really good shot next turn. Really fire pin. He needs to trade. Okay, here we go. <coughs> yep. It's coming hard. They're coming at you hard. But you knew that was going to happen. <laughs> backing, backing up, steadily backing up. Um, yeah, hurt him. Okay, his big weapon is gone. Cobra strike. That's nice. Ready for orders. Breaching shot. Knocking down. Oh, yeah. Same thing with you, big fella. <clears throat> Breaching shot, knocking down. Oh, yeah. Is that going to do it? Yeah, you're on the ground. Good. And you know what that means. What can I do for you? It's burger time. Alright, poke it in the head or kill it dead. Killing dead works. Team Green. Invasion from him. What do you think that is? <clears throat> Brock Armstrong. Alright, put him on the ground. Right in. You guys save your auto cannons. Oh, nope, not you. You shoot both yours. 85% you're shooting that thing. You. And he's knocked down. More free headshots. Oh, 
That was... That was... Yeah. <coughs> okay. Who thinks they can finish him? You? I think you can. You've got the Ultra Auto Cannon. You got no chance of hitting him in the head. But it's worth a try anyway. Alright. Now where's Brock? Brock Lesnar. Where are you? Dude. Brock Armstrong. There he is. What size is he? He's a 65 ton mech. So he's what? Just a catapult? Oh, he must be. Okay, hold on. What's up, boss? No sweat. I've yep. got a sensor lock. Just a catapult. Receiving you. Nothing to get too excited about. Got it. Primary target damage, Commander. Alright, we don't want to scare him off. I'm your spaniel. We want him to come up here, we don't want him to run. So let him come to us. Get over here. All right, everybody reserve. We we'll get maximum Confirmed. resolve here. We'll get two headshots at him. Our two good headshotters. That hurt. That's why we like damage reduction. Yes, Commander. Your chance. Be a hero. Well, he did hit him in the head. Receiving you. I'm walking here. Same thing with you. You got what? Two percent chance to hit him in the head. Head destroyed. Next destroyed. Well. Mission successful. It was a tough system for us because of that first mission. That's the that's the difference between making one strategic decision, how it affects the whole rest of the mission, and how we wound up with a lot of wounded mechs. But when it's all said and done, this is what we get. Lots of stuff. Everything except that Wolverine, so that's nice. We will grab what we can from the store. We'll plot our next route and we'll get out of here. And we'll hope for again, just excuse me, more pirate missions and more Capellan missions and not against each other. That's kind of that's kind of the real hope here. Yeah, the Hunchback 4G is, is great, but now I have it later than I needed it, so None of these missions we can do, the rest of them. They'd hurt our faction with the pirates and the capellans, and we don't want that. So we're going to repair him. Repair this. Those are going to take a small amount of time. Marauder first. Orion next. Then the Jaeger mech is coming out. Okay. So the store, did we miss anything else? <clears throat> There's an archer. There's Commando Parts, Cyclops, Javelin, Ryan K, Phoenix, Vulcan, a bunch of auto cannons, but none of them are unique. We already bought a lot of stuff in this system, so great. Good deal. Nothing exceptional in the higher and all. Oh, Exodus is here. Ooh. He's only got what? 10, 11, 12. He's got 13 points. Do I have anybody I want to get rid of? Not really. 13 points versus what? I have like some 11s, don't I? Like this guy, 9, oh no, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He's got 14 points invested. And her, she's got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'll keep who I have. So, mech bays are ready to go. Engineering's ready to go. We looked at the shop. Time to navigate. All right. Yeah, and there's Joint Venture. Two and a half skulls. It's for the Lyran Commonwealth, but it's against the Capellans. And I'd like to raise the Capellans some more before we have to do that. So what we're going to do is go through 
Linhawagen. So we want to go to Linhawagen and then we want to go to Untran and check that system before coming back to um, Wythe's Glory, which is also abandoned, and then heading off um, out of here. So let's go. Let's see. Can we get to Linhawagen from here? Yes, we can. We go like that as if we were going back down to Detroit, which we're not going to go to, so. Get that Jaeger mech. That'd be a fun one to play with. Okay. Reputation of the local pirate organization. Oh, let's hope that the invite comes soon. Ten days for these guys. We get a lot of mech warriors back in nine days here. Yeah, the pirate invitation is so important because then th you roll into those systems and they'll have like s six times Annihilator parts, three times Atlas II parts. Task Trucker developing an exercise regimen. Tucker suffers one injury. Morale increased by one. Okay. I need all those really good pilots to come back. The only way we're stopping at this next system is if it's a uh, super good contracts because it's an abandoned system. Linhawagen and well, let's go look at this before we check anything else. Linhawagen, Untran, and Wythe's Glory. They're all abandoned systems. They're all blue systems, but they're all abandoned. So there's nothing to buy there's nothing that's going to help us out on that front so they just have to be really good with contracts they're all blue systems so that's nice so here we go who's this against Magistry of Canopus it's a target acquisition Magistry of Canopus robbery Magistry of Canopus Capellans This doesn't say who this is. So it's probably pirates. Magistry of Canopus. There are five missions we can do here, and four of them help the Magistry, and one of them helps the pirates. As much as I hate going to abandoned systems, we're going to have to do it. Okay. That's too many missions. We can't pass those up. We're going to be short on pilots. This is going to be the hard thing. We're going to be really short on pilots. And if you go here and check, what's the biome like? This is the other thing that we have to check. What's the biome? Biome filter. Lunar. Over there. Not here. So what's this one? It says battlefield, medium gravity, moons, rocky world. So it's, so it's desert biome there. Not the glacier one. Not jungle. It's not lunar. That's great. Is it Martian? Probably. Yep, there's going to be some Martian. It's going to be hot and there's going to be some Terran. That's fine. And there's going to be some Tundra. Okay. And no urban. So there's no lunar. That's huge. Um, these are going to be hard missions to get through. There are three skulls. But we need the faction. We need the faction. Battle on a Martian surface. Destroy base on a tundra. Target acquisition on the Badlands. These are going to be hard. Three skulls, they're going to be hard. But and what makes them hard is we don't have anybody to headshot now, really. Um, we st so we have to do this. We have to do this. It's too important. It's a blue system. So first of all, we know we're getting the minimum amount of days. We're going to get the Agamek. And there's, there's, there's five missions here <laughs> that are going to help our faction. So if we look at this, let's take a look at the actual missions and make sure they're all working against who we think they're going to. This is Magistry of Cannabis. Great. Uh, that's the one against the local pirates. So the pirates will basically come out even. That's against Magistry. That's against Magistry. 
and that's against Majesty. Those are all great. This is a two and a half skull. It's the lowest one. And that's this is a destroy base and this is an ambush a convoy. Okay. All right, I can, I can dig that. We've got our mechs. We just don't have a lot of great pilots. Wait a minute, engineering Argo upgrade mech bay three in three days in eight days. All right. And the only thing we're missing is a catapult. Well, if we can keep him healthy, we can do some damage here. And we come to the end of another episode. I'm your host, Colors Fade. If you dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. My Patreon is listed in the description box below. And if you have a question or comment, leave it and I'll do my best to respond. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.